Hey class, and welcome to the Adding Decimals and Money tutorial. If you haven't had a chance to take a look at the Adding Four Digit Numbers tutorial, please take a look at that one because it'll really help explain the strategies of adding, and this one's just going to build up on that. So why? Well, many things we need to add are decimal numbers like money and measurements, and we need to be able to add money or else we could get ripped off, and we don't want to get ripped off. So let's learn this, kids. I'm putting those strategies in right now. If you take a look, they're actually very similar to the other strategies that we learned to add whole numbers. Strategy one, we're still going to write the larger number at the top. Strategy two, we're going to line up our decimals. Because if we line up our decimals, they automatically line up our place values. So just line up your decimals and everything will be lined up properly. Strategy three is check by subtracting, although I don't think I'm going to get enough time to show you uh, a check today because I want to try a word problem with you. So before we get into it, let's just talk about the idea of how money works. So the one's place value is represented by a loony because one whole dollar is one dollar. We need ten loonies to make a ten dollar bill, which is the tens. To the right of the decimal, so there's the decimal, to the right of it, are my decimal numbers. These aren't whole numbers. So if I gave you one dime, you don't have a whole dollar yet. You don't have a whole one. You only have a part of a one. You have a piece of a one, but not a whole one. You'd actually have to have 10 more, or 10 dimes in total, nine more. So 10 dimes in total to make one dollar. If I gave you one penny, you don't have a whole dollar yet. You have a bit of a dollar, but not a whole. You'd have to have a 100 pennies to make a dollar. So one penny is a hundredth, one dime is one tenth of a dollar. So let's practice by adding a couple of prices, maybe $8.29 and $12.49. I'm going to write the larger number at the top following the strategy one, $12, so one ten, two, two ones, and 49 cents, four dimes and nine cents, plus $8.29, so no tens, eight ones, eight dollars, and the decimal spots, I'm lining up, right? Lining them all straight below and above each other. Twenty, two dimes, nine cents. So let's add them up. So nine pennies plus nine pennies is 18 pennies, which is like one dime and eight pennies. One plus four is six plus five, plus two is seven, so seven dimes. I'm gonna put on my decimal spot right below the other two. I'm keeping them all in line. 2 plus 8 is 10, and 110 plus 110 is 20. So we have $20 and 78 cents. So let's try a word problem now, because we always need to know how to solve word problems, with money especially. I'm going to draw, because I like to visualize, it helps me solve these problems a little bit better. So. Taylor wanted to buy a popcorn and a drink when she went to the movies. The popcorn costs, so I'm going to draw this popcorn, oh, look at that popcorn, costs $6.25. And she bought a drink, the drink costs, look at that straw, $4.25. It's like a squiggly straw. Would she be able to buy both if she bought, brought $11? So here's Taylor, and she brought eleven dollars. Pretty good picture of Taylor there. So how, what would I what do I need to do to solve this? Well I think I'm gonna have to take the cost of the pop or the drink and add the cost of the popcorn to solve that. I have to find out how much money she needs altogether. So I have to write the larger number at the top which is six dollars and twenty five cents and then add four dollars. I'm lining the decimals up. I automatically did that. Four dollars and twenty-five cents. So let's add them up. Five cents plus five cents is ten cents. One plus two plus two is five. Lining the decimals up. Six dollars plus four dollars is ten dollars. So if I compare that, she brought eleven dollars, and she needed ten dollars and fifty cents. So did she have enough? Yeah. If she paid eleven dollars and it cost ten fifty ten dollars and fifty cents, she would actually have that much left over by subtracting it. This means that she had five dimes, which is 50 cents left over. Hey, maybe you could pitch in and buy a pack of Skittles or something. 